This is the flag of South Africa. And this is the world political map of South Africa. Today we'll travel from Cape Town to Outshorn. Then spending a couple of days in Outshorn, we'll proceed to the famous Garden Room. We are now traveling in South Africa. Already you have seen Cape Town with the Table Mountain and Cape Peninsula Tour. We started early morning from Cape Town for Outshone. Cape Town to Outshone is around 450 kilometers approximately and it will take around 5 hours. We can see the Table Bay from our bus. It's around 5 hours drive and if we stop along the way it will take around 6 to 6 and half hours. So we have already started. That's our hotel which we are leaving now. The weather is absolutely fine, it's clear, but it's very windy. It's a housing complex and this housing complex is Century City. It's a very expensive one. Our guide just now told us that in the evening there may be storm in Cape Town. He noticed the clouds over the mountains you can see at the distance. And these types of clouds on the mountains indicates that a storm will arrive in the evening. We are proceeding towards Outshorn. These are the vineyards, one of the finest vineyards in South Africa. We are now crossing the city of Paul. It's a very famous area along this route. It's really a very scenic drive. Route 62 primarily connects Cape Town to Outshorn and ultimately the Garden Route further east. We will cross the mountain which we are seeing in front of us. Host of attractions and activities along the road and off its beaten path incorporate smaller towns in the area including Montagu, Humans Drop and other parts of Klein Karu. Now we are gradually going up the mountain. We'll cross the pass and then go to the other side. This is really a very scenic route, Cape Town to Outshun. Now we are covering the pass. We are heading towards Outshone. Mm -hmm. 
On the way, we made a stop at a fuel station, a small coffee break, or you may also call a toilet break. Now we are crossing a small town of Worcester. It's a beautifully decorated town. Now we cross the Rift Valley. Multiple vineyards on the way, they are looking great. Now there is a small research for you. I have compiled some great stops along the way. Stellenbock, Franschweg, Overstrand, Hermanus, Somerset West and Pard. These are the top places you can visit along this route. We did stop in some areas but all the places are not covered on the video. What a magnificent scenery. Now we are crossing a small town with beautiful white houses. So the road is really very scenic and we are enjoying the whole journey. And you must visit the Poplas Winery and Distillery and De Kranz Wines. It's a very popular wine here. The most famous lunch stop on Route 62. Outron is a western Cape province of South Africa located between the Swartberg Mountains to the north and the Outenskuya Mountains to the south. Finally we reached Outron. 
we stayed in this hotel So after a brief check-in, we'll go for the sightseeing. At first, we'll visit the ostrich farm. Two ostrich feather booms during 1965 and 1970 and 1900 and 1914 truly established the settlement with approximately 60k inhabitants. Any questions along this tour, please you have to ask me immediately. Okay, what is going to happen? We go to the back, we go look at the animals. I'm going to show you white ostriches. I'm going to show you emus from Australia. And then we come to this side, this young man. We can see the eggs of ostriches and the guide is telling us about the ostrich egg that it really stinks very badly when it breaks. And this is how the ostriches are fed. More or less. How many chicken eggs inside one ostrich egg? One, only one. One chicken egg? Yes. How many chicken eggs inside? Twelve. One dozen. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Two dozen. Two dozen. If you take an ostrich egg, you boil it in water. How long does it take you to get a hard boiled ostrich egg? In nature for that baby inside the egg. To break the shell open inside outwards, it needs a pressure. 1,5 kg is broken. And that is because of the shape, the form of the egg. All right, I'm going to give the egg to you. you shake it. You can feel here the contents. What I ask you, please, for your own sake, do not drop this egg. You drop this egg. I run. You stink. Three days, I promise you. These eggs are very, very old, so please do not drop them. So you can see here, Rini is standing on the egg. It's really hard to break an ostrich egg. This is a Zimbabwe blue ostrich. The town's economy is primarily reliant on the ostrich farming and tourism industries. This Outshon is the largest town in the Little Karoo region. Now we'll take some photos with the ostriches. Outshon is home to the world's largest ostrich population with a number of specialized ostrich breeding farms such as the Safari Show Farm and the Highgate Ostrich Show Farm. So it's a photo session with the ostrich. Hello. No chance. No chance. All right, the moment those will start with the race. All of us standing here, you must support the ostrich you believe is going to win. Shouting, clapping hands, do whatever you want to do. Alright, if we do not do that, we stand as quiet as now. Those two ostriches, they will not stop here. Now it's an ostrich race, so we have to cheer both the ostriches. Come on baby, come on, come on baby. After seeing the ostrich farm, we'll see the Congo Wildlife Ranch. This ranch has 
plenty of animals and reptiles to see and it's one of the famous tourist spots in this area this is our guide are you 18 people 19 19 we were starting the tour with you and you This is albino Burmese python. With a West African Gabon viper. We are seeing the different species of snake. The names of the snakes are written on the top. Hey, a pass, pass right there. Black mamba. I'm gonna take you down to Cheatland where you meet some cheetahs, tigers, as well as white lions. Everyone ready? Ready. Hello? These are bats which are hanging. Vultures and they eat the brain because they believe if you eat the brain of the vulture, you will then be able to see into the future. And these are lemurs from Madagascar. You must have seen my video on Madagascar where I have shown them in their natural habitat in Isalo National Park. This is a hippo. And this is an otter. These are called venom animals and reptiles. Therefore, they don't eat their feet dirt because they have a low body temperature. That means if they eat their feet dirt, the food it won't digest in the crocodile's stomach. Everyone ready? So we'll now see the feeding of the crocodiles. These are African wild cats. Now we'll see the cheetahs. This is a white lion.
these are bat eared foxes after seeing both the tourist spots the ostrich farm and the animal ranch we will return to our hotel and it will be a free time there in our hotel in outshan next we will move further east along the garden route follow my other videos on south africa after seeing my videos please do like share and comment and please do not forget to subscribe my channel